There was nothing about the starry sky that night to suggest that strange and mysterious things would soon be happening. Professor Dumbledore, sir. No problems, were there? No, sir. House was almost destroyed, but I got him out all right. Nestled in the bundle was a baby, Harry Potter, the boy who lived. For the next 11 years, Harry lived with his dreadful Aunt Petunia, Uncle Vernon, and cousin Dudley, the Dursleys. Then one day, he received a letter inviting him to attend Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Whoa, and look, look, here we are. We're playing Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, a really old GameCube game from the year I was born. Um, I do remember playing this because my grandpa, my grandpa refurbished games and sold them. And as they were, as he bought them, he kept some. So he had every console you could think of, um, you know, old retro ones. He had the 64, multiple Game Cubes, Game Boy Advance, Color. Told you, didn't I? Harry? Just everything. Told you, you was and famous. This was one of the games he had. Professor Quirrell. One of the many Harry, games he had. Professor that I Quirrell will be one of your teachers at Hogwarts. Potter, can't tell you how pleased I am to m meet you. What sort of magic do you teach, Professor Crow? D -d Defense against the d dark arts. Not that you need it, eh, P Potter? You'll be getting all your equipment, I suppose. I I've got to pick up a new book on vampires myself. Must get on, lots to buy. Come on, Harry. It's surprisingly well animated for a game from 2003. It's giving kind of Fable vibes. Um... I have played Three it before. Up to Do not remember cross. any of it. Right. Uh, the pacing Stand is really out. weird. Uh, and obviously heavily inspired Welcome by the, to the Diagon movies. Alley. Hagrid's outfit is different, though. Um, heavily inspired by the movies. Just came out, one left I think from all just two, I think the first oh, one yeah, came out. Oh yeah, I still haven't got your birthday present. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it was 99. I don't know. Hello? Good afternoon. Ah, yes. Yes, yes. I thought I'd be seeing you soon, Harry Potter. You have so your mother's just eyes. Can't even it play seems only yesterday she was in here herself, buying her first wand. Ten and a quarter inches long, swishy, made of willow. Nice wand for charm work. Your father, on the other hand, favored a mahogany wand. Well, I say your father favored it. It's really the wand that chooses the wizard, of course. Well now, Mr. Potter, let's get started, shall we? If you'll kindly follow me. Can I play yet? Nope. Have a look around, Mr. Potter. When you find a wand you like, pick it up and let's see if it likes you. Can I play? Ebony and unicorn. Whoa, why do I run like Eight that? Eight and a half inches. Springy. All right, let's try this one out. Stand over there on that platform to try your wand. Oh. Nope. My goodness, definitely not. All right. Look, we all know the classic Harry Potter story. Come on, give me a new one. Holly and Phoenix Feather. 11 inches. Nice and supple. How is this it? Wow. Okay, that was quick. Curious. Gosh, this is such a How 2003 game. It's, um... 
What, so is that Sorry, like the same wand as what's curious? Tom Riddle? I remember every wand I've ever sold, Mr. Potter. Every single wand. It so happens that the phoenix, whose tail feather is in your wand, gave another feather. Just one other. It is very curious indeed that you should be destined for this wand than its brother. <sighs> Why, its brother gave you that scar. Yes. Curious indeed how these things happen. The wand chooses the wizard, remember? I think we must expect great things from you, Mr. Potter. After all, he who must not be named did great things. Terrible, yeah, but great. Please retrieve the spell book that lies beyond. It will prove most valuable in all that lies ahead. Okay, well, so is this the tutorial? Not. Yeah, the beans. I remember the beans. Over here, Mr. Potter. I remember the beans. Oh god. Yuck! Mmm, chocolate. Chocolate. Jehovah Gaps. Run him toward, he automatically leaps across. Wow, that's boring. Sometimes you want to line the camera up with a jump or quickly see. Booger flavor! The I don't know what, what button they're asking me to press. Oh. Mm. Toast. Toast flavored oh. beans. Mm. Coffee. Over here. I feel like Took toast is not gonna. Oh. Vomit flavor. I was gonna say I don't think toast would be a good candy mm. flavor. Earwax flavor. Earwax would be a better candy Ugh, flavor than toast. Or even tripe would be a better candy oh, flavor. Booger flavor. Yuck. I'll take that back. Grass flavor. Alright, what do you want me to do? Yuck. Here, what do? Grass flavor. I can't make that jump, can I? Oh, barely. So, I don't even jump mm, in this game? Peppermint. Is it just like mm, casting spells? Coconut. I don't remember. I remember the beans. That, that, that's mainly what I remember. At least so far. Oh, bravo. Yes, indeed. Oh, very good. Well done, Mr. Potter. Once you learn some more powerful magic, you'll be able to cast more powerful flippendo knockback jinxes. It's kind of giving Wizard 101 too, so far. What spell have I unlocked? Flipendo, knockback jinx. If you'd kindly follow me. Am I just getting the full tutorial from Mr. Ollivander? What does that do? All sorts of things. I thought that meant like it was just gonna be random. Oh, well, what's in here? Oh, it's a secret room. With a chest. There are many chests hidden around Hogwarts. Search them and find items you might need on your adventure. Gold chests are more valuable. Is this a gold chest? Looks like it. Kind of. Ooh, it's a... A wizard a card! A wizard card. Who did I get? Julio Magic. Felix Summerby. Oh, no. Felix Summerby. 1447-1508. Inventor of cheering charms. Oh, that's kind of cool. 
Oh my god, how many are there? There's 101 that I have to collect? How big is this game? Alright, there's no way. I am 100%ing this game. I was thinking, like, it, it, you know, it's... How old is it now? 20 years old now? Uh, there's no way it can be that long of a game. Actually, give me a second, I'm gonna Google it. How long is this game? These three large shields on the far wall can be flipped using your flippendo knockback jinx. Flip them in the correct order. Alright, what are we doing? Sometimes the answer to the question isn't right in front of you. Right above me. Yeah. Well, how do I how do I cast No. There we go. That There we go. Before continuing, it may be wise to collect the folio bruti. The Book of Beasts. Um, this book shows the name and appearance of each beast you may encounter in your adventures. Cool. There's an imp. That's it. So far, all I've got is the imp. Am I about to go run into the imp? There aren't imps in, in Diagon Alley, right? Oh, never mind. He's right there. Why you got these guys? Why you got these guys in here? Why are you just letting them attack me too? These imps can be a nuisance. Try knocking them over with Flipendo. Then pick them up and lock them in the cages. Oh, so we're not killing them. Ah! Stop. No! Where's the cages? So jank. If you'd kindly follow me. To learn how to cast a spell while moving, you need to target the shield on this device and continue to cast Flipendo at it until the central section locks into place. All right. Moving target. I can do that. There you go. Well, that was easy. Done, Mr. Potter. Easy. Oh my God! What's that? New spell? Is that what that is? <laughs> okay. With the knowledge contained in this book, you'll be able to cast more powerful spells. Here's a helpful hint from the book just for you. Build up the power on your wand, but be careful. Don't overpower your spells, or you could end up in a spot of trouble. All right, give me something to shoot. This time, I'd like you to power up the Flipendo spell before casting it. Like this. Flipendo! All right. Gotta time it right, though. Oh. 
Shoot, I was close. There we go. It's 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 kind of finicky having to power it up and hit a moving target. Well done, Mr. Not finicky, but a little bit more difficult. Oh yeah, I got a card. Who is it though? There are 101 wizard cards to be collected and traded. Kind of annoying how it's 101. I wonder, wizard 101, 101 wizard cards, wizard 101. Who knows? Um, oh, oh, this is the one that I just got. Godric Gryffindor. Godric Gryffindor. Medieval, dates unknown. Co-founder of Hogwarts. Gave his name to one of the four Hogwarts houses. Gave it. How polite of him. If you'd kindly follow me. Hey, Harry. Happy birthday, Harry. <gasps> she's beautiful. Oh. What's her name? Her name's Hedwig, and she's yours to keep. Thanks, Hagrid. We best be going now. The Hogwarts Express is leaving very soon, and you don't want to miss it. Don't want to miss it. We didn't go anywhere else. It's kind of sad that you couldn't walk around Diagon Alley, but I guess you know. 2003. The train slowed right down and okay. finally stopped. Don't even... They followed Hagrid down to the edge of a great black Don't even lake. get to see the train? The what fleet is wrong of little with this game? Off all at once. Can you even see the... You the lake, cannot see the train? Smooth as glass. Whatever. Everyone wow, this castle was looks insane. Until... Oh, it's similar, but not the same. It's... One okay, by it's one, Ron. Each of the first years like, you, you was sorted see, into his or her house. can meet Ron Hermione. And what of Harry Potter? Not Slytherin. Not Slytherin. Not Slytherin, eh? Are you sure? You could be great, you know. It's all here, in your head. Now? Well, if you're sure, better be Gryffindor. Hey, Harry. Hello. I'm Ron Weasley. I'm in Gryffindor, too. It's no surprise, really. We met you all on the my train. Are in Gryffindor. So, why do you think Professor Dumbledore put the third stupid... for us of bounds? He's not even really supposed to be wearing the sweater know. right Come now. On. It's Christmas. We've got to follow that It's prefect. Christmas. It's odd because he usually gives us a reason why we're not allowed to go somewhere. I do think he might have told us prefects at least. That prefect's Percy, Percy. my other brother. How many brothers Percy have you got? Too to many. My name's Hermione Granger, what by is the up way. With this dialogue? And it's you just are back to back to back to back to back. Ron Weasley. Pleasure. You've got something on your nose. You huh? must be Harry Potter. I know all about you, of course. Look out! Filch is coming! We'd better go! Wow. What a rushed cutscene. <laughs> it's just like they didn't even give each other time to think. Oh, man. Gryffindors, follow me, please. Keep up. Okay. Come on, Harry. We'd better follow Percy up to the Gryffindor common room. Keep up, please, and follow me. Quickly now, come on. This is the most direct path to the dormitory. Oh, and keep an eye on the staircases. They like to change. Okay. What was that? Follow me, everyone. Oh, it looks Keep cool. up. Keep up, please, and follow me. Quickly now, come on. Are we going in there or are we going up these stairs? Okay. Was that just another loading Peeps. screen? Oh. A poltergeist. Oh my God. <laughs> Or the Baron will hear about this. I mean it. Oh 
you want to watch out for Peeves. The bloody Baron's the only one who can control Why him. Why is his nose moving when he talks? Prefects. Look, his nose like dips down when he talks. Gather round here. Password? Is this supposed to be the family? You need a password to enter the common room. This year, it's Caput Draconis. Caput Draconis. Well done, young Gryffindor. That is indeed the correct password. Was that the fat lady? I can't remember if the fat lady is supposed to be Thanks, Gryffindor or, or not. I think it is. Fred and George have set up a shop. I'd be a you can trade all kinds of things with them for spells and really wicked stuff. Wow, I must go and see them. That doesn't Where happen until they? later. Go through that door and through the reading room. There's a portrait on the other side. What's the password? Pig snout. Oh, and oh, watch out for person. I don't know. He if hates it being disturbed when he's studying. You'll need to stay out of his way. If you're careful, you should be able to creep past him. Okay. Press gently forward. You blow profile. I must be hearing things. What painting is it? Locomotor Mortis! No! Come here! Get back to the common room, Harry! What painting was it? Come here! No! Leave me alone, God Harry! Freaking dang it! I've got better things to do than chase you around! What is the painting? I don't know what the painting is. Alright, let's try again. Oh, what's back here? Painting two paintings of the same person. Oh, and a gold chest. Are you giving me a wizard card? A wizard card. Who is it? Ad, Ad Albert Waffling. Oh, sorry. Eighteen ninety nine to nineteen eighty one. Famous magical theoretician. Okay. Chocolate. All right, let's go again. I mean, we just gotta be a little bit more patient, right? I mean, I feel like I am being patient. It's just he walks around really randomly. Come here. No. Hey. Hey. No, you can't see me. Come here. Pig snout. Leave me alone. No. To do than chase you I around. Freaking. Come on. Pig snout. He did it. It wasn't that hard, and he isn't moving randomly. Oh, man. Hello, Harry. We were wondering when you'd turn up. Welcome to our shop. Feel free to browse our extensive range of wizard wheezes and magical merchandise. Everything priced at reasonable rates in the only currency universally accepted throughout Hogwarts. Bertie bots every flavor beans. Okay. And, as a special bonus, for just 10 beans, you can have a dip into this chest and receive a special prize. Oh, yeah. Wow! Yeah. I've got to try this. It sounds like fun, yes. But then, you haven't put your hand in yet. Have a good look around, Harry. And if you want to buy anything, just ask. Why would they put it in the most inconvenient spot ever? I want... Dung bombs! Yeah, I got dung bombs. <laughs> The limited edition Bertie Bot card. What does that cost? It'll cost 50 beans. Alright, well, we need that one. We're saving up for a Bertie Bot card. 
How much that? is the Edgar Struger card? Probably not that much. It'll cost 30 beans. Oh, only 30. Uh, am I getting a, another card? Okay, cool. A wizard card! Who is it? Chauncey Aldridge. 1342 to 1379. First known victim of Dragon Pox. Dragon Pox. Why would he get his own card? I mean, I guess it's, you know, kind of important, but he's famous for being famous for getting sick. All right, well, I gotta go, guys. You can come back as often as you like, Harry. We'll be here. Uh-oh. Mortis. You're not gonna give me. Hey. Yeah, that's right. Okay, Harry. It's been a long day. I'm really tired, and I'm off to bed. <laughs> okay. Good conversation. First day at Hogwarts was insanely. Boring. Here we are. Day two. First day. We probably have to do classes today, right? Our, day two, our first day. Our first day of classes. Morning, Harry. Probably. Do you know what class we've got first? It's potions, Harry. Ron can show you the way. Have you seen this notice board? I'm sure if you can find some of these missing things, you'll be rewarded. Copy of Magical Theory by Aldelbert Waffling. All right. Hello, Ron. It's potions first, isn't it? I think it's down in one of the dungeons. Follow me, Harry. Alrighty. Let's do it. Who needs Hogwarts Legacy, really? Wait, why are you following me now? Oh. Welcome to Hogwarts. Hogwarts has four houses. They are Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin. The hourglasses show which house has the greatest number of house points on any day. While you're here, your house will be like your family. Your triumphs will earn you points. Any rule breaking and you will lose points. At the points. end of the year, the house Paints. with the most points is awarded the House Cup. And let me tell you, it's about time Gryffindor won. Please try and remember, only prefects and teachers can award house points, and they can also take them away. Come on, Harry. Better get moving. Potions is in the dungeons. We don't dungeons. want to be late. Where is it? God. Double potions with the Slytherins. Snape's head of the Slytherin house. They say he always favors them. We'll be able to see if it's true. Are they walking like that? It's true then. Harry Potter's come to Hogwarts. This is Crab, and this is Goyle, and like my twins. name is Malfoy. Draco Malfoy. <coughs> Think my name's funny, do you? No need to ask yours. Red hair, and a hand-me-down robe. You must be a Weasley. You'll soon find out that some wizarding families are better than others, Potter. You don't want to go making friends with the wrong sort. I can help you there. I think I can tell who the wrong sort are for myself, thanks. Buzz off, Potter. Wow. Kids game, you gotta be careful. You are here to learn the subtle science and exact art of potion making. As there is little foolish wand-waving here, 
Many of you will hardly believe this is magic. I don't expect you will really understand the beauty of this softly simmering cauldron with its shimmering fumes, the delicate power of liquids that creep through human veins, bewitching the mind, ensnaring the senses. I can teach you how to bottle fame, brew glory, even stop a death. If you aren't as big a bunch of dunderheads as I usually have to teach. Today, you will learn how to mix a Wigan Weld healing potion. I want you all to collect the following three ingredients. Asphodel, Dittany, Wigan Tree Bark. Failure will be severely punished. The groundskeeper, Hagrid, may be able to help you with the first ingredient. Make sure you have these ingredients for your next potions lesson. It's Defense Against the Dark Arts with Professor Quiddle next. Class dismissed. I have to gather those before tomorrow. That was such a short class. But Neville, <laughs> what's wrong with his hair? We need to collect all those ingredients in time for the next potions lesson. We've got Defense Against the Dark Arts on the third floor now. All right, let's go. Let's do so much more walking again. Still can't believe this game is 20 years old. Like, it doesn't hold up that well. I mean, it doesn't really hold up at all, but Harry, this lesson is with Professor Quirrell. The fact I've been really looking forward to it. Games of this quality were 20 years old. I don't feel like they would be. Good, good day, class. Today we are going to have a most illuminating experience when we l learn the wand lighting spell, Lumos. Not only can this light be used to illuminate dark areas, b b but it is also used to reveal s secrets. Lumos is also a useful spell to use against s spectral beasts, such as guy trashes and g g ghosts, provided you b b bathe them in the light from your wand. To learn the s spell, you must each enter the s spell challenge. N n Neville, how about you first? Oh. <laughs> Potter, your turn. The Lumos spell book is located on the other side of the crawl space. Find it, and the spell will be yours. You must then return here to the classroom. Oh, there's more freaking hymns. Whatever, let me open this chest. Cake. What's that? Pumpkin pasty. That's just a pumpkin. Oh. Okay. Why well, can't be easy? <laughs> Is that it? Is this game made for children? That's a challenge shield, Mr. P Potter. You need to collect them all for the highest grade. Oh my god.
What's that? What's that? Dang, maybe I should have put it up there before I did that. Make the same mistake. Push it all the way over. A pumpkin pasty. Oh my god. So unique. At least my health is full, I guess. Fire looks like not that high def compared to everything else. I mean, I guess the textures don't. The models do. Well, the models aren't pixely or anything. Hedwig! Don't know what I need you for yet, Hedwig, so give me a second. Oh god. The Oddball. Medieval. Dates unknown. Highly eccentric wizard who is famed, among other things, for wearing a jellyfish for a hat. Oh, well. Among other things. I wonder what else he's done. Alright, where you at, Imp? There you are. Oh. Alright, let's go. Shield. I like how he narrates literally everything that you do. He has to say exactly what you do. Cauldron cake! Exactly what you do. A cauldron cake. Everything you pick up. Alright, Hedwig. Let me talk to you. I don't really know what we're doing. Feed Hedwig. I'm gonna feed you. A rat. But a cookie. Oh, you're gonna pull down the ladder. I didn't even know there was one. Do we really have to climb up this? Oh, I was gonna say, the entire thing? I'm saying that. I mean, a kid, Harry, could do that. A freaking 11 year old? My arms would give out, not even halfway up. All right, what are we doing? Where are the imps? Oh, there you are. Ow. Get down from there. Ow. No, you... Oh my god. Oh my god! Insane. I just like it wouldn't even. 
Didn't even get close to him. I think I did it though. That's it, right? This is his weapon. Oh, but I'm being put in the cage. Is there gonna be ghosts? Lumos is gonna be B. Wow! The Lumos spell! Maybe I could use this to find my way out. A challenge shield! There's a door right here. Is that another imp? Oh, crazy. Beans. Mmm, peppermint. Mmm, coffee. Mmm. Mmm. A wizard card. The animations in this game are painfully slow. Dymphna Firmage, 1612-1698. Famously abducted by Pixies while on holiday in Cornwall and lived in mortal dread of them thereafter. Failed to persuade the Ministry of Magic to have all Pixies humanely destroyed. Okay, what a odd... Odd character card. A pumpkin pasty. That's good. I need that. Eat it. Yum, 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 yum. It's got to be ghosts in this one, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, there is. Ah, they're scary. Tough one. Lumos. Lumos. Gosh, freaking darn it! Get away from me! Oh my god, that was close. A challenge shield! A cauldron cake! Eat it, give me so much help, please. Next to nothing. Okay, cool. A pumpkin pasty. That'll give me something. Yeah. Right, let's go. Everything needs an animation sequence. For what? Lumos! Are you joking me? <sighs> Why, why didn't he jump? Did he need a running start? Is that what it is? A 
Talon Shield. Did we do it? Is that it? Dude, it's been like hours. And hours of playing this game. Oh, it's not oh, even that yet. Hold on. Sprout! Might be it, actually. Good one, Harry. I'll give that a b-b-b. That's all for t -t today Class dismissed. We did it. God, finally. Um, that is honestly <laughs> plenty for me, for now. Um, I might come back to it, uh, but I do want to at least try the other ones. I know there's at least four games um, on the GameCube, uh, and I might even go beyond that. Who knows? I don't know. I have no clue. There might even be some on the Wii or on the Xbox that I can try out. Um, but it was silly. It was old, very old. Um, definitely a game of its time. It reminds me a lot of uh, of Wizard 101 in a lot of ways. Um, I think it, I think it's just the mainly the uh, animation and voice lines and uh, models that are are similar, um, but it's also very 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 Fable vibes too, like old Fable one and two. Uh, but thanks, Ryan. <laughs> Look at this freaking picture of Hagrid. Oh my god.